Hi, I'm Arno from Hypy Label. So today I want to make you think about this simple question. So when you do a, a website optimization, uh, are you sure that your users will really benefit from it? So last year when I was in Berlin, I introduced the fact that uh, synthetic testing and real user monitoring can be quite different. And this has become even more obvious this year uh, with examples like this one where you've got a, a synthetic trend which is quite flat, uh, no, no major change. But when you look at the real users, uh, you see that desktop or tablet users have a full second more to load the same page. Other differences that we see also is that usually you, you think about uh, performance as average, uh, but when you, when you take the distribution, so the standard deviation of uh, all the measurements, you, you would see sometimes that with the same average, you have a distribution difference uh, because synthetic testing are usually very quick so they can be all between two and three seconds, whereas your desktop users will be around six. And the same for tablets or smartphones. Uh, they can imply very, very different uh, user satisfactions. So this year we are now done. And um, did it smoke clean? No. OK. And yeah, because we are not in Berlin anymore, uh, to this year, of course, synthetic testing uh, is still not enough. A few differences, well, actually a lot of differences uh, we have between the synthetic and the realism uh, monitoring. Some factors are really, really different uh, between the different methodologies, such as the browser, the versions, the operating system. Some factors are even usually not taken into account, uh, such as the multi-time navigations, the browser plugins. And other factors will be very variable also, because uh, a user that is, has a, a very new desktop uh, is not the same than a user having a desktop from five or ten years old. Uh, same for the bandwidth and the network access. So, going back to my initial question, when, when you do website optimizations manually or with automation tools, uh, how can you be sure uh, that all of the users will benefit exactly the same way? So let's take uh, a real life example uh, on the e-commerce website. So, First, here's the methodology that I applied. Uh, obviously, uh, the best start is to have synthetic monitoring. So when you do optimization, uh, there is no point into uh, looking at real users if your synthetic trends are not changing. You can look forever. Uh, if, if the optimization is not impacting your synthetic test, uh, there is uh, no benefit. So first, uh, looking at synthetic trend, I saw this nice graph. Uh, where you see the page size uh, which slows down uh, from 2.5 to 1.6 megabytes and the page load time uh, which uh, was globally about 25% 20, quicker uh, and even the, the rendering of the, the, the page starts start quicker. So the question was uh, did the real user have also 25% uh, uh, benefit in the loading time? So I did analyze uh, the real users uh, but for that, I need to align because I want to compare what's comparable. So on the same country, uh, the same ISP to avoid any location effect, uh, the same page, the same metric, uh, and also excluding some absurd measurements, which unfortunately happens with the, the real user data. So by analyzing about 20 million measurements, uh, if I found out that uh, we saved just one second, which is not so bad, uh, but still that's only a gain of 11%. So we are not as the, the, the synthetic trends that show the 25% of improvements. So differences, uh, of course the device uh, have a major Im impact. Uh, when you look at the desktop, on average we have about 10% of improvement. The mobile did benefit most, about 25%, whereas the tablet uses only 7%. So an explanation of that can be the network effect. Uh, because typically you've got a lot of tablet users that will use more Wi-Fi networks, uh, whereas uh, the, the mobile users will more be on cellular networks. And we know typically that less bandwidth you have on the cellular networks, uh, and if you reduce the size of your page, uh, you will benefit, of course, more of the, of the gain improvement. Another impact that is uh, quite rarely uh, I think is the, the, the CPU, well, or the device capacity. Well, actually, not just CPU, but all the, the capacity of the, the device to render a page, uh, depending on the CPU, the memory, uh, and all its, its available capacity. So 
by comparing that, uh, I found out that uh, actually the very good device, uh, so very nuanced, we have a lot of CPU and memory, uh, had a very limited gain because, well, obviously they're quite already faster uh, within five and seven seconds. So for these users, typically, uh, this optimization has almost uh, no, no effect. Whereas the old device uh, had a very good effect because they were slower, uh, and so they again between 15 and, and 80 uh, percent of gain. But the very old ones uh, had a, uh, less impact. So typically, very old device uh, that performs already bad, uh, don't, we, you can't do uh, a lot uh, to, to, to such old devices. Another effect uh, that can uh, also vary a lot is the browser. Uh, typically, comparing the, the benefits of performance for all of the, well, for the main browsers, uh, we saw that the, the Internet Explorer browser did benefit the most. Uh, initially, it was not the quickest because it was Firefox, uh, but following that optimization, uh, on average, all Internet Explorer users were a bit, uh, a bit quicker, still not as much as Firefox, but they benefit most. On the contrary, Safari browsers, uh, on average, did not have any uh, major uh, impact. So to understand a bit more about that, uh, we know that browsers uh, have uh, different uh, ways to, to use the resources on the machine to, to render and to build some pages. So I combine the, the browser results with the CPU or capacity results to, to compare this. And what I find out is that, uh, well, first observation, is that only Firefox users have the, the, the best, performance, best performing devices uh, because they were the only, one, the only browsers in that category, but still they had a good uh, improvement uh, of about 10%, uh, so which means that they move for these users from six to five seconds, which, uh, which illustrate that Firefox uh, really uh, takes a, a good advantage of the, the, the power and the capacity of, of the device. But other illustration uh, about Safari uh, show that the, the good device, uh, for, for this device, Safari did not take advantage of the performance of, uh, of the device itself because these are these devices where we, we didn't have any improvement, whereas the Safari users with average or old uh, devices uh, were, were okay. And a final observation is that uh, for very old workstations, so uh, very, uh, with very, very limited resources, we found out that Chrome uh, did not uh, perform well uh, without improving actually the, the, the performance. Uh, so it could be uh, an illustration of the fact that sometimes automatic updates uh, with new features uh, might not be very, very compliant with uh, obsolete or uh, non, non well performing uh, devices. So, to conclude finally, uh, well, to, to, to go back to my initial question, uh, we can say that uh, we do not have the same uh, performance optimization again, uh, depending on first synthetic versus release really monitoring, but also we have really various results between, between the browsers, the desktop uh, users, and the mobile connection. So, to, to give you some final advice, uh, of course, synthetic test is not viewing anything, uh, everything, sorry. Um, so you have to really use uh, some real user monitoring solution to, to check effectiveness um, of different optimization solutions. Uh, of course, it can be the, the page size reduction, but it, this methodology can apply with any, uh, any other optimization solution uh, because as we saw, not all devices are equal, uh, especially uh, in terms of performance. Mobile device also will have a high impact uh, depending on uh, the usage, if it's a Wi-Fi or a cellular network connection. And the browser impact uh, also really depends a lot on the, the capacity available on, uh, on the device itself. So thank you in advance. Uh, if you want to know more about how, do, how we did that with the synthetic and the real uh please, uh, you're welcome to our booth uh, to discuss more about our solutions. Thank you.